All right, so HPA thing, it works. Uh, this is Whale Shark, um, the previous HPA blaster. Actually, I have it here. In a... This uh, is slash was Sand Shark. Uh, I took it apart for parts to make this. Um, so this is now Whale Shark. This is a semi-automatic HPA blaster where Sand Shark uh, used gears in the trigger pull to do semi-automatic. This has a air piston back here uh, that kind of has a pokey outy bit. You can kind of see coming off the back of the ram there. To do semi-auto. Uh, and it's got cute little eyes here and, and the gills of the shark and the big old open mouth of the whale shark. Yeah. Uh, and a buffer tube on the back. This is the first prototype, uh, so the hosing is a bit wonky. Um, this is supposed to use 90 degree fittings here, but I didn't want to wait for them to get here in the mail, so this is very messy because these are all straight fittings. Um, also, I got a much bigger HPA tank, so now I can do more extended firing. Um, and the last thing that I need to tell you before I actually fire this on camera is um, all of this filament in this blaster is from um, Polymaker. And they have given me this filament for free uh, in exchange for telling you that it's from Polymaker. So um, filament costs a lot of money. And if that's what I need to do in order to not spend money on filament, uh, this filament's Polymaker. Anyway, Polymaker filament, um, given to me for free. Now you know, um, transparency and stuff. Yeah, I'm responsible. Okay, HPA Blaster. It's awesome. Uh, magazine. Um, ball detents in the magwell. So just stick it in or pull it out. Um, Airline goes in through the bottom. Also, look, I put uh, on the magwell. <laughs> you wouldn't download a blaster. Anyway, so you put in the magazine, then you pull the trigger once, and it will dry fire to cycle the dart into place, and then you can normal fire. Um, this is not a scar barrel. This is just a barrel cover. There, So the effective barrel length of this, I think, is a foot. Um, which I think is too much in its current setup. Um, the one issue that I run into so far is the ram doesn't go full, all the way into where it's supposed to be. Um, if I hold the magazine here for contrast. Is that, is that good? Yeah. So the ram should be there, but it only sits there. So it should be uh, that much further in. But... It still seems to be firing, even even without it going fully into the correct position. So, uh, if I adjust the stock to a more comfortable length, dry fire, let go of the trigger, and that will load the dart, and then that is fired. So, I've got this big line coming off of the air tank on the chair right there, um, and that would be in like a backpack or a hip holster or something, but see if I can get this on video um, without hitting all the crap on my desk. So, am I in frame? I think I'm in frame. Yep. Oh, it folded up a dart. Okay. All right. There we go. Do one a bit closer to you. Uh, let's make sure that this is aiming in a correct location. Okay. So that's to load the first dart and then. Got two darts left, and I'm going to just fire these. 
It's actually three darts left. Because I forgot that it's, it's closed bowl. So when you can only see two in the magazine, that means that there's already one in the, in the chamber. Oh, and also, um, you can see the air tank down here. Uh, oh, wow, you can see the breach and the air tank. So this is the HPA core, and this is the breach. So that extra black line that you see on top of the ram is actually a piece of elastic. Right, right there. That is... That's elastic in there to try and help the ram all the way forwards. Uh, but there's just a little bit too much friction in the, in the chamber. So needs a little bit of help to go all the way forwards. But for a first prototype without any like test prints or anything before this, like this is the first print of all of these bits that I've done. Um, like I didn't, I didn't do one bit at a time. I did the whole thing all at once. First print of every part here. And it, like, works almost completely fine. It is amazing. I am ecstatic. It's great. Uh, yeah, this is amazing. Um, and if you wanted it shorter, uh, you could just trim this off at the back um, as, as a part. Uh, it doesn't need to have the buffer tube here. There's nothing inside the buffer tube back here. It's all just hollow plastic. So, it could be... Um, even shorter if you wanted it to be. There we go. So yeah! That's Whale Shark. Uh, HPA Blaster. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's amazing. And I love it. Am I running low on air? Mm, no. Neat. Sweet. Cool. All right. Awesome. Well, Shark, really good. Evidently, need to swap out the fittings because uh, I believe that one of the airlines has kind of popped off on the inside there because. This is supposed to have 90 degree fittings, but I used not the correct ones because I wanted to fire it now. Uh, and I think that just now, at the end of the firing demo, one of the airlines has popped off on the inside. So, um, gotta fix that. But, overall, really happy. Yep, one of the airlines popped off. But, other than that, really cool. Um, yeah, I'll post some more information on this uh, as I work on it a little bit more. Yeah, thanks for watching.